Now some of you may know that you can connect your PS4 controller to your PC directly using Steam, but this is a bit limited. You can only use it on certain games, as not every game has the right layout for the PS4 buttons, and you can only use it in games. With the way I'm about to show you, you can use it for any game, emulator, program, hell you can even use the trackpad as a mouse and a clicker for when you're browsing the internet. So let me show you how it's done. In order to do this, we're going to need the help of a program called DS4 Windows. You can get it from the link up here, but I'll paste it down in the description of this video too. So once you're here, just click on download now, and you're going to get all of the different versions. And here is where you're going to choose which version you want to download. First, you'll have to see if your Windows is 64 or 86 bit, but most likely you're going to be following the 64 bit version. So just go ahead and download this one, and it'll download directly to a zip file. I'll just open it right here really quickly. Once you get your zip file in your downloads folder, unzip it, just extract all. And when you open it, you'll see here that you have the actual application, DS4 Windows. The first time you open it, you might get this Windows protected your PC message, but don't worry, that's just because it's an unknown publisher. It's not from a big publisher like Microsoft or anything like that. It's not a virus. So just click run anyways, and that'll install it for you. You might get this pop-up on here stating that you need a new driver installed. So you can just go ahead and click on it, see if there's a new version that you need to install. I'll install it right here, just click next, install it, and this is just so that the PS4 controller can work correctly on your computer. Step 2, you can pretty much disregard unless you are on Windows 7, and you're just about ready to get your controller connected to your computer. Now, in order to connect your controller to your computer, we're going to need to go to the Bluetooth settings of our computer. We'll leave DS4 running right here in the background and just look up your Bluetooth settings. Now I already have mine paired so I'm going to remove the device just so we can start from scratch. So you're going to need to put your PS4 controller in pairing mode. In order to do this you need to press and hold both the home and the share button together for about 4 to 5 seconds until the light in the back of it starts flashing. Once you see the light flashing, that means the controller is now ready to be paired. So go to add Bluetooth or other devices. Here we'll select Bluetooth, make sure devices turn on discoverable, which it already is. And now it can be a little picky sometimes, it can take a minute or two just to detect it. So I'll just fast forward until we can actually detect it. Now it'll come up as wireless controller input, so just click on it and you should see connecting. The first time that you connect it, it's going to tell you that it's setting up a new device and you have to wait for it to finish, but we're pretty much done here. Now something very important I forgot to mention, if you have Steam running in the background, which I do, you will need to close it, as this interrupts DS4 windows from using the controller. So, now that we've closed Steam, I can go back to DS4 Windows. Here it's going to ask you if you want to allow this app to make changes. We're going to go ahead and say yes. And now, as you can see, my PS4 controller is connected directly to DS4 Windows. And just so that you can see that this is actually legit and it's really the PS4 controller that's connected here, I'm going to be changing the LED using DS4 Windows. So here's a quick cell phone recording of me doing that. As you can clearly see, the controller is now connected to my computer via Bluetooth. Here it'll show you the battery level, and you can even connect it directly to the computer via USB for it to charge. Now the advantage of doing this, and what this really does, is it'll make your computer think that you're using an Xbox controller. And as some of you probably already know, Xbox controllers are designed to work with any PC game. That's what makes it so useful. You can also try to connect your controller directly via USB, it'll work in the same way. Here on the status, it'll change from this Bluetooth logo to the USB logo, but it works the same way. Now something I should mention that's a little bit wonky sometimes, if you take your PS4 controller and try to connect it back 
to your PS4 after you connect it to your PC, you will need to connect it to your PS4 via USB. Once you do that, the controller will be linked to your PS4 again. Now, if you want to go back to your computer and use it on your computer, you will actually have to go on here and remove the device and then repair it. It's kind of a bother, but it's the easiest way to do it. And simple as that, you're ready to control your PC using your PS4 controller. If you have any doubts or questions, leave them in the comments below. Like the video if you found it helpful and make sure to subscribe for more.